Is this nigga serious? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. The beginning clip that you just saw is a clip I saw on Reddit, but it basically just exemplifies all of the main issues that everyone is having with recon right now. Guys, who is not happy with like recon, or rather, who is happy with recon, right? If you don't know, recon is when you have the three blue perks in Black Ops 6 that uh, essentially when you run all of them, you basically get free wall hacks as well as free high alert. And it's not just like a death streak or anything like that. You get this for every life. That, that, that makes no sense, right? I don't understand how, who made this idea in Treyarch and who okayed it. You know, people really just looked at this, were like, yeah, sounds good to me and just shrugged it off. And like, I don't know, that kind of bonehead decision is just, I don't get who made that. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. But the good thing here is that Treyarch is apparently, you know, doing something about it. We got this tweet here from Matt uh, from Treyarch. He's like one of the head devs. He's responding to phase swag. Uh, you know, everyone's been chirping about recon for, you know, I don't know, a week now. And uh, for some reason, he responds to Swag's tweet about it and, you know, makes Swag feel like a huge boss. I guess, you know, he's on the Activision payroll. It makes sense. You know, you might as well, you might as well give him some publicity while you're, you know, kind of at it. And he basically just says incoming, right? And he's referring to a nerf. Now, there's a lot of speculation that we can do with this, right? Like, oh, maybe it'll be, you know, I, you know, I covered this in my last video. Go check that out. But essentially, what I think is most likely and, you know, maybe at the time this video goes up, you know, maybe it'll already come out and this video will be kind of a moot point or at least as part of it. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'm kind of thinking that they're probably going to just simply uh, make it so that it's not every single life or they're going to make it so it's a snapshot instead of like a live tracking because um, a live tracking wall hack is very, very OP, you know what I'm saying? But if it's just a snapshot of like when you spawn back up, it's not as bad. It's not nearly as bad. So, you know, those are my two assumptions for what's going to happen. Again, this video is going up or this video is being recorded on the night of November 3rd. That's also why I got to be a little, you know, hush, hush. And I can't really scream as much as I you know, typically want to. He can't keep getting away with it. But I'm excited for this nerf. And I think it's a really good sign that Treyarch is listening and seeing the complaints. And uh, speaking of complaints, let's talk about something here. I've noticed a lot of hate coming on this channel. And and I'm not out here to say, oh, boo-hoo, you know, people are making fun of me. Nah, dude. Honestly, I think it's funny because uh, they, first off, I think it's good that, you know, my video is actually getting recommended. People like who are not fans are actually checking out the videos. And, you know, for some reason, they care enough to leave comments. My One of my last videos, I think it was a Nuketown one. I don't know if everybody just is all of a sudden a Nuketown D-Rider or everyone just suddenly thinks that Nuketown saved Black Ops 6. I fully disagree, dude. The more and more I play Nuketown and probably the more you guys playing too. I don't know, maybe I sound like a shill. Maybe I'm just like 0.5 KD player who has no business talking about Call of Duty. I don't know. But for some reason, I just feel like everybody and their mom is all of a sudden like super in love with Nuketown, or super in love with Black Ops 6. Oh my God, Black Ops 6 is amazing, blah, 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 blah. Huh? Guys, I can have an opinion, and just because it's not the same as yours or your favorite YouTubers doesn't mean I'm stupid, doesn't mean like I should get off YouTube or, or stop. I mean, seeing some of these comments, some of you losers out there, man, you guys are saying stuff like, oh man, like this is the worst content creator I've ever heard. Oh, if you don't like it, don't play it. Guys, who clicks on a Call of Duty video where the title and thumbnail are clearly negative? It's not even like ambiguous. It's clearly, yeah, I don't like this or I don't like that. It's clearly this. Why would you click on this and then be surprised? Some people, I'm not going to name who, but I responded to some bozos in the comment section. Some of you guys, oh my God, dude, you, your, your typing skills are like poo poo. Some of these absolute brain dead morons out there are, are saying stuff like, oh, like, you know, like you got, you don't have any credibility or like you just complain it just for the sake of it or something like that. And while I understand potentially what you're saying, I do think that there are YouTubers out there who do that. I find it a little, a little annoying, you know, it's a little annoying that you click on a video, you listen to my voice for like, what, three minutes, and then you come to a full, full ass assumption about, about my, how my, my takes on Call of Duty, uh, how I feel about this game. You can't know how I personally feel about this game in three minutes of watching. And, you know, it's so funny. Everyone's like, just so solidified. I, I watched this guy for like three minutes. He's the worst ever. All he does is complain. Bro. You watched one video and I know that's true because 
I never seen your comment. Like I've never seen your name, your username in my YouTube comments ever before. And to be honest, if you're going to act like that, I probably, I don't want to see you again. You know, I'm, I'm fully fine with you unsubbing, leaving a dislike, never coming back. Like, fine, go ahead, do that. You know, I, I know that you won't because for some reason, if you're getting recommended my Call of Duty videos, it means that you probably don't like Call of Duty. You're not going to get recommended, you know, stuff that you're not potentially interested in. And guess what? You clicked on the video. You clicked on the video knowing that it was probably negative. Stupid. No, not. Well, I guess definitely negative because based on the title and thumbnail, unless I'm some kind of clickbaiting idiot, uh, yeah, it was not going to be a positive video about Black Ops 6. What do you want me to do, right? This is what I don't understand. These absolute like Activision, literally they're Activision like AI shills or something like that. I don't know if you're sent from Activision or if you work for Activision. What do you want me to do? Oh, uh, yeah, Recon's amazing and uh, Black Ops 6 is so fun. Uh, every map is amazing. I have fun every game, even though skill-based matchmaking is pounding my butt into the ground and making me smell like poo poo what do you want me to say like do you do you want me to just come out here and lie uh like modern wars on you want me to be like that um nuketown came out five seconds ago oh my god it's the best thing ever oh, blah, blah, blah. do you want me to do that oh man this new face off map is so amazing even though i just died 50 million times and got two kills oh it's so amazing thank you Treyarch. thank you vonderhart like what do you want me to do i i don't get what these these idiot drooling cod fanboys you you you're a fanboy you know what i'm saying you're literally a fanboy who's trying not to be because i'm talking bad about a video game that you like oh man he's saying mean words about a, a video game that i pay money for bruh are you are you that soft and, and the funniest thing is that these people call like me and other content creators who like complain about the game they they call us soft they call us oh man you're, you're just a loser you know oh you don't you don't even play the game or like if you don't like it then why are you playing it These Activision like white knights, like I finally get what like all these other content creators are talking about when they address like hate comments. Like I finally get it. You know, I guess I finally made it here on, on the YouTube scheme uh, for Call of Duty. But yeah, dude, you're a loser. You're a degenerate camping slob. Get out of my comment section. Get off my videos. You're actually you're delusional. All right. First thing, you're delusional. And uh Honestly, you're really annoying. You know, it's not even funny. It's not even like a funny troll or anything like that. Like half of these guys are super serious. Oh man, stop talking bad about the video game that I like. And you know, even though like you have more playtime than me and how do you hate it when you actually play it and stuff like that. Guys, who said I hate Black Ops 6? I think it's a great game. Like I think it has a lot of potential. And the reason why I make videos for some for some reason, a lot of idiots out there just don't understand the reason. Oh, why do you make hate videos all the time? Shut up, bitch. Guys, if I made a video about the stuff that I liked in Black Ops 6, you'd get one video for the year. It, is that is that content? Is that how you thrive on YouTube? You make one video and you just disappear forever? Is that how you build a community? Is that how you build a channel? Is that how you grow subscribers, right? And I'm not saying that, you know, you have to 100% be negative all the time. But again, some of these idiots out there watch me for three minutes, make a full assumption about my channel, understand that I'm like super, oh man, you're super annoying. And you all you do is complain. Dude, you've watched me for three to five minutes, bro. If you watched me for like weeks and weeks or you started when I you know, was making Black Ops 6 videos, maybe I can understand that, you know, like, oh man, you, all you do is kind of make negative content, stuff like that. Not to burst the bubble here too much. First off, negative content. Yes, it's going to get more views than positive content. If I made a video called Black Ops 6 is amazing, I guarantee it would get a third of the views if I made a video called Black Ops 6 sucks. Even if the exact content, the, the script, the verbiage, the gameplay was the exact same, just because of the thumbnail and title, that video is going to do three times better. I can guarantee it. I will bet money that it will do better. Also along that point, what do you want me to do if not complain? If you're okay with recon, then like, first off, you're probably a complete, complete bot. You'll see how I'm using in this gameplay just to showcase how OP it is, dude. It's ridiculously overpowered and it's completely for noobs. And I fully recognize that, but I also recognize that it's going to get nerfed. Just like this Matt guy says in, in the Treyarch Studios, it's going to get nerfed. So why would I not abuse this while I still can? And so a lot of the gameplays you're going to see in the future is me using this because of course I'm going to use this. It's the most OP, most broken thing in the game. Why would I, you know, hinder myself and just completely not? Like I'm not, I'm not as stupid as you Activision shill commenters. Boom. Roasted.
And finally, my last point here, if you think complaining doesn't matter, if you think we're just complaining, we're just hating to hate, you know, all these COD hate channels, oh, you're just hating to hate, man, then why are they nerfing it? Why are they making a big, why is everyone making a big deal about this? Why are they suddenly nerfing this, right? They're not nerfing the green perks. They're not nerfing the red perks. It's because everybody is making a huge ass stink about this and for good reason, okay? It's for new players, for bad players. There's a group, there's a subset of just clowns in my last comment section who are like, oh man, you're just hating to hate. You know, Nuketown's not even that bad. You know, even though I, I can't move and everyone's just holding windows and sight lines and stuff like that and, you know, running out with a shotgun and stuff like that amazing reflex aim because of the skill based matchmaking and even though i go like 17 and 45 every game yeah it's amazing you're just hating to hate okay that's fine that's fine you know go ahead and play nuketown go ahead and play call of duty with thick skill based matchmaking with ridiculous op busted perks with you know soon they'll have like claymore soon they'll have pay to win audio like go ahead do this go ahead you activision shills you are a loser okay you smell like poo poo your opinion is poo poo and uh yeah i just don't respect it i just can't get on board they're nerfing it for a reason and it's because everybody and their mom is complaining about it right if they weren't do you really think they would nerf this right go ahead and look at like every single weapon in this game i think Trek did a phenomenal job with the weapon balance so far in this game now i know that they could break it i know that warzone might be completely different but so far in this game i think weapon balance is in a really really nice spot whether yes there's some weapons that are better uh, obviously but there's no weapon that completely stands out and is breaking things like the jackal was in the beta right there was no reason to use anything else because you would just use the jackal submachine gun and just dominate close range long range medium range it didn't matter <laughs> how come question mark here how come Treyarch has not said a damn thing about weapon balance in this game? They haven't said a thing in multiplayer. And you know why? It's because they did a good job. It's because there's nothing to talk about. Why would I come out here on YouTube and come out every single day and be like, yep, the weapon balance is good. Yep, the perk balance is good. What is there to change? Who's going to watch that? Okay, cool. It's good. I know it's good. What are you going to tell me? What are you going to offer me? Right? If I'm offering you the opinion of, hey, this needs tweaking, you can think about it. Hey, yes, maybe not. Or like, yes, yes, it does. Or no, no, it doesn't. You're wrong. And we can have a civilized discussion about this. Well, at least if you're not a brain dead idiot, like, like half my comment section. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> Overall, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video. I guess it's not too quick, but I just want to make this video covering, yeah, my thoughts on the recon nerf. I, I think that it's going to happen sooner than later, so I'm very anxious and eager to see how it's going to go because, yeah, it's, it's going to change up a lot in the world of Call of Duty. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a rest, great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.